Hello! So, to get things started, are you someone who um, has things that they do in life and don't really have enough time to play GTA but still want to make the money? Well, today I'm going to give you some of my my opinions and things that I do to make money in GTA Online. Hello, my name is ACS Wolfman, and today we are going to be discussing businesses that you can buy to help you get money when you don't have much time to play. Now, <coughs> we are going to start off with this very important information. Rockstar has their way of making you buy properties because essentially you can't do one thing without buying another for example um, if you want the nightclub business you get it uh, it also but you have to buy the terabyte which stores the oppressor mark 2 but to do some to get the most effectiveness of um, businesses, you need mainly an Oppressor Mark II. But you can't get an Oppressor Mark II unless you have the nightclub. So you need to buy the nightclub, and then you need to go and buy the terabyte, because you can't buy the terabyte unless you've got the nightclub to store it. So, But, basically, my methods of what we're doing right now is what I've been doing recently, um, and that is because of the double money doing the um, <coughs> uh, the CEO office warehouse supply runs to get the warehouses filled to spend and sell the stock that I get in the double money being four million plus at the moment because of the double money week um, so at the moment there are multiple types of supply runs that you do the one that is here now and apologies for the long black screens I don't know why they're there um, but the one I'm doing at the moment is where you have to collect three crates now you can collect three crates every every single time you do it. Some of them you have the whole three crates content into one van or one lorry. This one is you actually have to go back and forth to pick up each crate as it drops. Again, I don't know what the game was doing, but it was taking a really long time to load. But as we go off to get the second crate. All of this adds up <coughs> eventually. Um, my recommendation is to do it. Obviously, you can't do it in an invite only. It has to be a public session. So do the tactic of going in, if you're on Xbox, going into your settings and testing the NAT type, I think it's called. Um, let it do that. Once it tells you that. GTA is ready to play, come back into the game, and you will notice that everyone above your radar has left, leaving you being the only one left in the lobby. Being a public lobby, you can do <coughs> everything that you are allowed to do in a public lobby without the interference of other players interfering with your progress, especially with the double money, you want to get these done quick. Um, luckily, I had already started doing it. Uh, my suggestion is because one second uh, my <coughs> um, I've forgotten what I was talking about now um, but right anyway long screens it's annoying but basically we're gonna go and get the third crate and then we'll be then I will come back and let it I'll come back and continue the conversation once this is done playing around right so 
done all three crates. Now, normally, the thing you would do after is launch the VIP work. Um, I couldn't because someone had already started one. So, basically, what we're going to go do is go do that, get that done. Um, normally, you've got quite a few to pick from. It depends how many people are in the session, how many people you've got in your organization as, as associates. Um, but most of them you can do on your own. Um, the one at the moment, I believe it was exclusive search or, exec or executive search. Not too sure. Um, but the main ones are headhunter, where you have to assassinate three targets, two in a vehicle, two standing. Um, uh, I'm trying to remember what it's called now. Hostile Takeover, where you got to go to one of four locations. You get to choose. I suggest um, doing the airport, since most of this that you'll be doing is going to be in the city. Um, or doing... Um, oh, what's the other one? Sightseer, which... At the time of recording this, I had just done it, and it's basically you just go to three different locations, do a simple phone hack to find out the next one, and then that's it. You ain't got to take them anywhere, you just got to pick them up. All of them do pretty well, especially at the moment, since again the VIP work is double money. As you saw there, just assassinating the person doing the, um, the CEO work. Obviously, gave me the money for completing it. Now, the businesses that you should buy are mainly the nightclub because I'm going to do these in order of my opinion, useful ones. So, first off, do the nightclub because that will cover majority of your businesses mainly it will do the MC club work businesses so all of the the five different types you've got which you will see in a sec um, down there we've got cargo and shipping sporting goods South American pharmaceutical organic painting and art and cash creation being all of the different ones basically once you do that all you got to do is buy the actual buildings which you have to do in the MC clubhouse as an MC president and then get the do the setup mission and then basically just leave it it will basically do it on its own and it's the same with all of them and you can easily keep track of all of that from the um, what's it called nightclub the second is, I'm going to say, the CEO office. Because of the warehouses and vehicle um, sourcing missions um, are, again, most useful. So the vehicle ones cost nothing to get. You don't need to spend money to source the vehicles. you just got to source them. Go get them, make sure you get it there near enough one piece. And then just sell them. Obviously, you can sell four vehicles at a time, or you can just do one at a time, depending on how many people you've got. Um, obviously, you've got high end, mid, medium end, and low end um, cars. Obviously, higher ends will cost more to sell, or will give you more when you sell them. Second is probably the arcade. <coughs> I'm going to have to say, because again, you can get money in your safe from having the arcade open. Also, underground, you can get the uh, master control terminal, which you'll see in a minute, which keeps track of not only the MC businesses, but also your vehicle warehouse, normal. CEO office warehouse 
and the bunker and you can resupply from there obviously once you've had once you gain a lot of the money you'll be able to just resupply 75 grand a piece every single time you run out of stock to make or every time you run out of supplies to build stock with um, and then honestly last business wise I'm gonna have to say is the bunker for me I rarely use it because unless you're going to be doing the missions in the um, MOC it's not really that worth it because I think the, m the most I think once max once you've filled up the storage completely I think the max you can sell is 1.3 mil and it's not exactly a quick process to get that it does take time and 1.3 mil on double money it's only about it's only two plus so but then you've got the nightclub which has seven different product types all being stocked up automatically without any honestly without any assistance from you all you gotta do is run the setup missions on each of them bit on each of them buildings and then it just takes care of itself the bunkers the same takes care of itself but you have got to keep going back to um, resupply it um, obviously CEO office you're gonna need to get the warehouse and the vehicle warehouse at the moment we are going over to the um, arcade at the point of recording this I hadn't actually got the master control terminal own it's only because I sold my entire stock on the warehouse um, and I got total after after all the missions um, VIP work that I'd done on double money along with double money of selling the stock I got about five mil so I thought I'll get it and it's very easy you haven't really got to do much with it again loading screens shoot me wake me up when it loads so <sighs> obviously my arcade I've upgraded it I've actually done something with it now it's been boring for so long but now that I've got the money I can actually sort it out <coughs> obviously any computer that you go onto to do anything with businesses you must be a CEO or an MC president you cannot do anything without so obviously upgrades I don't and I honestly wouldn't bother getting the drone station because it's basically like the RC Bandito where you just have a little drone and that's about it but the master control terminal obviously when you get that screen will go to black and then all you gotta do is go downstairs once you get your fat ass off the chair and go and check it out um, but what I will do is because this is the first time you're getting it Lester will give you a rundown on what it does so what I'll do is I I will shut up and I will let him do that now as I mentioned before this is something I like to call the MCT the master control terminal it's a little program page started putting together a while back this baby connects your whole business network from the open road to securo serve from here you can see the stock levels of any business you own and more importantly you can resupply and source from here too have full control of all your businesses from one chair gone are the days where people need to get up and move to control an empire this is the digital age where the lazy rule so basically just in case you didn't understand any of that because it is Lester and he likes to explain things in funny ways basically you can resupply any of your businesses that you own in one location um, obviously minus in the special cargo vehicle cargo and gun running missions those ones you have to source by yourself 
you can't just resupply and get a full stocked so um, gun running missions not many people do them I don't think they're that popular I don't do them so but yeah and all of this is completely very very much easy to use as if you're just using your simple laptop in your office basically but those are my opinions on what I think is my opinion the best way to make money even if it's not double money or double cash in RP um, and best businesses to get so just to recap nightclub you get that with all of the open road businesses that you're seeing at the moment um, and all you gotta do is the supply run or the setup mission and then just let it do its thing in the nightclub and it'll go up itself uh, gun running missions gun running hangar don't really know to be honest um, CEO office to get the warehouse and vehicles and just all of these are pretty good if you got mates to do them with so but they're all completely usable if you're on your own so hopefully you found this helpful leave any comments in the comments below if you need any questions and I will see you next time